what's going on guys welcome to another tutorial video on this channel today we'll be telling you how to install the f18 for the new microsoft flight sim 2020 the f18 is pretty good but there'll be a few changes you might have to do in the sim but this is just a short play of how it looks and how it flies but to download this there'll be a link in the description to this website for where you'll be able to download the f18 so when you're here you can scroll down it will say how to install so this is one of the ways you can do it but for me I will show you how I did it in my way. So we download the link right here and it'll take you to this page. All you want to do is press download again and it'll download the file. So once this has installed, then you go to your files and you open up the file that you've downloaded. You go to the drive that FS2020 is installed on. And you go to your community folder and then you'll be here. For those who might have another section for an add-on, so you press on the add-ons folder and then you copy the download of the F18, so here, and you paste it into the community or the add-on section. Once you've done that, then you can go into FS2020 and you can check out the plane. All right, once you've entered the sim, what you want to do is go to your options, general, then head down to flight model. And instead of it being on modern, you have to turn it to the other flight model, which is legacy. So you just want to do that and uh, save the changes. Then you're going to go and spawn in. So obviously I already have it selected. So this is what it will look like. So it'll be after the Boeing 747 or if the 787Z, then it might be after that. Then you, there's obviously a lot of liveries that come with it. So you've got Blue Angel, all the Blue Angel liveries, but these just have different tail numbers on them. And then we come down to other liveries. So maybe some from Japan and some other US liveries, some camo liveries and white liveries and so on. So we can choose any of these and you can spawn at a random airport. So let's just spawn at St. Martin doesn't matter about the time and we'll fly and then I'll show you what it looks like in the cockpit and all and how it flies November 007. if you guys do get the problem of it spawning like this so without the wheels what you can do is enter slow mode so by pressing Y on your keyboard and then you just want to make sure the gear lever is down and you press Y again to come out of slow mode and there you go the wheels are out and you should be fine Alright, so let's jump right into the aircraft to check out the modeling and you can see it's pretty, it's okay, it's not bad since the sims new and it will, and these guys didn't have a lot of time I guess to develop this aircraft, but it's pretty good, they've got the sounds alright. This aircraft can go, I believe, to Mach 1, so pretty quick, and it does come with um, some custom sounds and all, so you can take off from St. Martin and see what it's like there, get some outside views. So I guess it's not bad. All, obviously all services work. Alright, let's gear up. So flaps and notches and all that work as well. We do rolls. And obviously because of the flight dynamics and all in FS2020, I think it does look a lot better. I'd say it's rivaled to DCS World, the way it flies, but obviously not with all the features it has. Other than that, this aircraft is pretty good. Obviously, it comes with a lot of liveries. There will be many more updates to come. You can do all sorts with this. You can troll people if you want to. Because I know a lot of trolls would love to fly this aircraft. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any more comments you want to leave below to ask questions about this aircraft or download issues, feel free. And I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability. So yeah, peace out and take care, guys. Fly safe.